You know it's a shame there, but um, what is that? Uh, there's many, many uh, conversations that, or things I've sent you that you have yet to uh, respond to. All right, I want to ask you a question, but I'm gonna read part of my essay to you, and then tell me if you still have the same uh, pro-choice standpoints. Pro-life versus pro-choice. Essentially, this has been boiled down to two things, live action ministries versus Planned Parenthood, and adoption versus abortion. This topic is very controversial, and it's filled with heavy emotions. On this topic, this includes politics, money, and laws. If you're a taxpayer, you may be interested. Do you go to college? Well, if you're a college student on financial aid, guess what? You're paying for them too. Now, Planned Parenthood, the world's largest abortion provider, performs over 1.3 million abortions per year. There are over 42 million done per year worldwide which breaks down into 115,000 per day according to abortionno.org according also according to the group a member of live action that's about um, according to the group <coughs> I'm a member of live action sorry <coughs> that's about two babies per second according to abortionno.org 83% of these abortions are done in underdeveloped nations, leaving only 17% of them to be done in developed nations. Doesn't that kind of kill the, uh, the myth they say, oh, it's done in clean doctor's offices so to prevent the back alley abortions and it is that and all that. Kind of kills that one, and considering that 83% of them, according to abortionno.org, you can check my sources, and it's a non-Christian site. Say so that 83% of percent of them are done in underdeveloped nations. Now, um, since Roe vs. Wade, there has been over 52 million of them done. That's around 154 per second or per per hour in the U.S. Planned Parenthood does offer birth control. But if you look at these YouTube videos posted on my group, on my group's Facebook page, at facebook.com slash groups slash cultural awareness, and there's a little, um, in between cultural awareness, yeah, all right, uh, like a little line or whatever, um, these videos are titled, Blood Money Trailer, Planned Parenthood Exposed on the O'Reilly Factor, Ingram on the O'Reilly on the O'Reilly, <laughs> Ingram on O'Reilly, Planned Parenthood racism, where they exposed Planned Parenthood for allowing donations to only abort black babies. This company receives three hundred sixty-five million dollars from the taxpayers. That's per year, according to Live Action, less than one percent. <clears throat> According to live action, less than one percent of abortions are hard cases. According to non Christian website, according to yeah non Christian website quadrant.org, Planned Parenthood's Guttmacher G U T T M A C H E R Institute has admitted that in America, abortions per rape amount to one percent of all abortions. This website also states another researcher has found that cases for rape and incest make up only 0.08% of all abortions in America. Uh, <clears throat> in America. They refuse to support live action, which is the group that I'm part of, and our viewpoint of adoption versus abortion because they say the government could not afford to pay for all the unwanted kids. First off, both me and my sister are unwanted, unplanned kids. And we made it out of the ghetto or bad neighborhood. <laughs> and both are in college. Even our mother obtained her degree, too. 
So, 365 million a year goes to Planned Parenthood. So I did the math, and here it is, what I came up with. Or here is what I came up with. At $800 a month on, on uh, state benefits, if you times that by 12, you get $9,600 per year. The average life expectancy of a human in America is 75 years of age. So if you times that number by 80, you get, which I'm talking about the 9,600, times that number by 80, you get $768,000 over an 80-year time that you have lived on state benefits, if you've lived on them your whole life. So I went to divide 768,000 into 365 million into my eight-digit calculator, and there wasn't enough numbers to fit in there to see how many people would have to live off the system for 80 years using the numbers that I used. Now this is only uh, the, my rough draft. This is only part of it. This is where I'm just getting all my information and deciding what I want to put in and what I don't want to put in, and everything in here I'm putting in. And everything I find I'm going to put in, but I just have to find out how to structure it because it gives me so much information again. Then, and then tomorrow or so, I'll post a video for my information for my side. I am doing that right now, but well, I'm probably going to load four or five pages against my side that I have to write, or going for my side, I should say, but going against the company that goes against my side. Anyway. So, rate, comment above. Oh, no, sorry, rate and comment below. Subscribe above. I've been doing homework for the last seven, eight hours already. And uh, let me know what you guys think, guys. Especially you, bud. Because I posted a few videos to you. Never got any response. So, I want to know what you want to think about this one, bud. I'm not going to, like, talk down to you or nothing. I just want to know what you got to think about this one and the facts that I provided to you because your video was just pretty much a bunch of smart remarks. It wasn't really a lot of facts. Mine's at least got some facts in it, so let me know what you think. Bye.